Terry, it's been a while, man. I guess how good does it feel to be back after a, more than a year away? It feels good, man. It's, uh, yeah, it's been more than a year, which is the longest I've ever had in between fights in my entire career. So I'm excited to get back and get paid. Yeah, so, you know, listen, a lot of time off, some weird things. And he had to pull out with the injury, which is not something you're used to doing either. I guess how difficult of a decision was that to get people to convince you it was the right move? Well, the thing is, is the decision was, was made for me in that I couldn't fight. It wasn't a matter of choice. It was impossible. I didn't want to drop out. If I could have fought, even with an injury, I've done it before, like most fighters have, but I could, simply could not. So I had to drop out, and it sucks. Because, yes, that's the first time I've ever dropped out of a fight at all. It's crazy. Uh, recovery process, I mean, did you have to have surgery or anything like that? Or was it just rest, rehab? Yeah, a lot of rehab uh, and a lot of rest. I didn't need surgery, so I'm... I'm good now, I'm ready to go, so hopefully things go well for me this time and I can get back in there before the end of the year, I hope. Nice, paired up with Nascimento again, did that matter at all to you? Is there anything about the matchup you like? I mean, he's tough all the way around, he's good at everything. Uh, I think it's a good matchup for me, but it's certainly not an easy matchup or anything like that, but it's, it's a good matchup. Uh, I don't care who the opponent was though, I had also before this, I had accepted Walt Harris briefly, but he uh, couldn't fight till October, so then they just said, okay, well, Nascimento again, so that's, that is what it is. I always just say yes to the opponent, so um, yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah. He, he, he had a USADA issue. We talked to him earlier. He said it was kind of more of a technical thing. I mean, but when, when guys had it, does that red flag you at all? Uh, when I heard it, I thought it was steroids, but then I, I heard it's like um, uh, Adderall, or it's like it's a focus thing, Ritalin. Yeah, Ritalin. Yeah, so uh, that's what it is. What it is that that's not really a performance enhancer at all. So that's fine if that's what it is. It's what it is, man. And even if it was steroids, which you know he says it's not, I'm not going to jump on him for it. Um, like you know, Pessoa was on steroids and I beat him anyways. So I I don't really care to be honest. Yeah. Is there anything that he does specifically? You no, know, he came in here and said, "Look, I think I'm, you know, I think I'm better everywhere. I'm well-rounded. I, you know, is there anything he does in particular that you go, eh, that's one area you want to stay away from?" Yeah, no, for sure he said that. That's his job to say that. Uh, he's he's really good at jujitsu. He's got a lot of submission wins, and you know, I've only got two, and it's been a long, long time since those. I haven't, you know, submitted anybody in a long time. Whereas that's more his wheelhouse. Uh, he's good on the ground, on top. So he, you know, he's going to be heavier than me. And if he gets on top, he's got good subs, and he does have good ground and pound. So that's for sure an area where I think he's going to look to take the fight and an area where, obviously, I'd be smart to avoid. But every heavyweight doesn't want to be on the bottom. So It looks like you've stayed as busy with training as you possibly can. So I'm just curious, like, is timing a concern after this time away, like, early on? Or do you feel like, nah, I'll, I'll have it going in? Timing's perfect. I'm ready to go now. Nice. Last thing for me, I guess, as you said, you know, maybe into years. So is it important to try to get out of here unscathed so you can get in and get another paycheck? You can't think like that. You got to go in there thinking that you're going to die. You know, best case scenario, um, I get out of there unscathed with a win, but I'd rather get out of there with a win, bloody and broken and not able to fight for a long time, than get out of there with a loss where I'm not hurt. So, no, the most important thing is to win by any means necessary. Tanner. Hi. Uh, you said um, w when you were booked before that um, you know you're, you're going in there to knock this dude out because if not the judges are going to screw you. Is that your same mindset? It has to be. You know the judges here uh, in, screwed me once big time, and I had another really close one that didn't go my way. So I certainly can't uh, find any reason to have have uh, faith that I'm going to get the benefit of the doubt should the fight not be an absolute blowout. So yeah, I think I got to finish the fight.